welcome to Weekly Reflection with Sonia Rodriguez. Today is Wednesday, the 14th of July, 2021. We are going to reflect on the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 25 to 27. Let's open our hearts and listen. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Albert Einstein said, Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. In the name of education, some of us tend to overstuff ourselves with facts and figures in order to gain fancy titles or degrees. Then we begin to feel like we've arrived and we know it all. Unless the mind is trained to think, interpret and apply those facts and figures, they actually serve no real purpose. Over a period of time, this kind of approach can lead to develop a closed mindset, monotony, frustration and stagnation with no fresh inflow of knowledge. We need to develop an open mindset that is willing to constantly learn, unlearn, relearn and apply all of it to life. This will ensure continuous influx of new knowledge and energy, keeping the stream of the mind clear, fresh and flowing. After all, there is never an end to learning. When the mind is closed, even with eyes and ears wide open, we will not be able to decipher even the obvious and hence we might often miss the point. These are the people Jesus was referring to when he spoke about the wise and the intelligent in today's gospel. They were so full of themselves and all their so-called knowledge that there wasn't room for anyone or anything else. Hence any kind of new learning was outright rejected without even examining it. With all our worldly education, we forget that we are looking only at the human dimension of knowledge. This by far falls short of the knowledge of heavenly treasures, which is beyond our understanding, known only to God and to those he chooses to reveal them. Unless we are willing to empty ourselves and open our hearts and minds, these precious hidden treasures will never be revealed to us and the loss will be entirely ours. We need to be like little children who have no inhibitions, no preconceived notions and no hidden agendas. They are like fresh sponges that have, have an amazing capacity to readily absorb new learning. No wonder Jesus loved little children and always welcomed them warmly. In Matthew chapter 18 verses 3 to 4, he says, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. A know-it-all attitude is often accompanied by pride and arrogance, which will always be a hindrance to learning and growing. Therefore, Jesus advises us to have a childlike attitude that will keep us humble and grounded. We can also recall how Mary of Bethany left aside everything to sit at the feet of the Lord and simply listen to his teachings and learn. Let us be willing to humbly recognize our human limitations acknowledge his immeasurable grace and accept the gift of his life-giving word, then we too can stay lifelong learners at his feet. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for revealing to us the wonderful treasures of your word. Bless us with a teachable spirit so we may always be open to learning and grow in our faith, thereby drawing closer to you because you alone have the words of eternal life. We ask this in your most holy, precious name. Amen. God bless you.